if you do the calculations, you come up with the age of the universe being something like 14 billion years old. That's not six days. Uh, so yeah, yeah. how do you reconcile those two? Uh, some excellent books uh, written by a guy named uh, Gerald Schrader, who is a physicist who used to be at MIT, and now he teaches, and he basically sets up an argument that you can reconcile these two because, because we know the universe is expanding, time expands too. Yeah, so yeah. Einstein proved that space and time are, to, are the same. Yeah. And so if you go back in time, you can actually back calculate how many, how many years when we look back, each day account from Genesis would be equal to. I mean, it was really yeah. interesting to read that and find that um, each day expands to a different number of years. And we know now from paleontology and cosmology about when light first appeared, when um, when the planets first formed, right. when the sky became clear, when animals um, appeared, and they line up really nicely mm. according to the, the like calculation. But um, this 14 billion years, when you squeeze it back down, comes out to six 24-hour periods, six days. That is It's crazy. a mind-blower, right?